Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today I will present about the organization structure in hospitality management. So before we start, I will introduce myself and this slide is for GHOP 3013 Hospitality Operation Management. From group B, this is my individual assignment 5 and I prepare this slide for Sir Muhammad Nizam bin Saidin and my name is Nur Shohada bin Kino Hisham 276996. So, okay, first I will start uh, what is hospitality management? So, uh, what is meaning of hospitality and management? Hospitality is means the reception and entertainment of guests, visitor or stranger with liberty and goodwill. For the means of management, it com comprises planning, organizing, staffing, leading, directing, and other than that. So, it uh, this means of hospitality management simply define as the practice of running a hotel or we call a managing a hotel so next i will go to the uh, four basic function of management we, we have a planning organizing leading controlling in monitoring so for the first is planning it is determine future cost of action uh, planning involves why in action how to take action and when to take action for the organizing it implementation making optimized use of the resource required to enable the successful carry out of plan for the leading it is determining what need to be done in a situation and getting people to be do it so last but not least controlling monitoring it is a checking progress again plan which may need modification based on the feedback so next we will go to the meaning of organization organization is a structure through which individual cooperate systematically to conduct a business so for the authority authority is the formal or legitimate authority specifically in a charter give a project manager to the authority to act in the name of a sponsoring executive or on behalf of the organization. The authority it contains two different so first formal organization and informal organization. For the formal organization it is a top to bottom top down approach specifically involved legal system that commonly imply a communication community potential use of force to maintain the order so for the informal organization it usually has a leader who is consequently or unconsequently recognized by the group so next we will go to the delegation what is the de de delegation Delegation is a very important aspect skill in human resource. So the authority to another person to carry out specific activity, and this is also on. This is also one of the core concept of management leadership. Okay, next, I will go to the depart departmentalization. So we will go by one uh, one by one. What is departmentalization based on which work on individual are grouped into manageable unit there are five traditional methods of grouping work activity so let's start with the functional departmentalization so function departmentalization is a is a uh, organized by the function to be performed the function reflect the nature of the business. The advantage of this type of grouping is uh, obtained efficiently from consolidating similar specific, specific and people with common skill, knowledge, and orientation together in common unit. Okay, next we will go to the product departmentalization. It's an uh, assemblers all function needed to make and market a particular product are placed under one executive so okay next we'll go to the geographical geographical based on the group job based on the territory or geography 
so we can see it will contain a geography so next we'll go to the process departmentalization is the group job on the basic of product or customer flow each process requires particular skill and offer a basic of homogeneous categorizing of work activity so last but not least customer departmentalization so this is a group job on the basic of a common set of need or a problem or specific customer so their job uh, we have to be check what is the problem about the customer so next we will go to the to the human resource management human resource management is the important uh, department that every industry will have so what is human resource management is the planning, organizing, directing, and controlling of the procurement, development, compensation, integration, maintenance, and separation of human resource to the end that individual, organiza organ organizational, and social objective are accomplished. So we can see the human resource uh, is the very important department that will every uh, company that uh, will look so next we'll go to the standard in choosing staff uh, it have a several type for the first physical requirement mental intellectual and emotional or attitude now for the physical requirement it involves the height weight and even disability Mental or in, uh, for the mental or intellectual may either language proficiency, arithmetic skill. For the emotional attitudinal, it a characteristic. Um, employer must have a good disposition. So next, re recruitment. So the recruitment, the process of finding and attracting capable applicant for the employer. So it have a two major formal. First, internal source and external source. For the internal source, uh, it is uh, the recommendation of former employer that recommend from the other company. So for the external source, it is divided in two. First, advertisement and employer agency. So we can see it have a different type of source that we can see in the recruitment. So next, in the staff planning, it has a part-time employer. Part-time employer, uh, that company taking in job in additional to their main employer. So when we hire part-time employer, it has an advantage and disadvantage. So we will look at the disadvantage for, for so for this advantage it cost the advantage for the receive fever fringe benefit. So for the disadvantage it may create a specific problem as they are outside establishment. So these two type of uh, these two advantage and the advantage will cause uh, the effect for the staff planning. So last but not least, we will see uh, at the end of this slide. So and is end of this slide is the computerizer schedule. It will great help for the hotel manager to track the whereabout of his or her employer or subordinate. So this computerized schedule will help uh, and is uh, make uh, a lot of easy for the hotel manager to manage about the his or her employer so that's for me and thank you for watching my slide uh, and uh, and thank you for the my uh, lecture for giving me this opportunity thank you